went into the game? Like, was that something that maybe you and Lamont Paris had a conversation of, I want to guard Lamonte Vicks? Oh, I definitely, definitely wanted that matchup for the whole game. But the beginning of the second half, he hit like, what was it, three threes in a row? <laughs> and Coach Buckley was like, it was like, switch the matchup. And I was like, no, I was like, no, I know. I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then we had some miscommunication and he hit another one. But uh, like, I just wanted to get after it and like, show the coaches my competitive spirit to try to want to stop him. For sure. Uh, have you ever had the chance to meet him before, or was today the first time you got to? Uh, it was the first time we like had conversation. I remember my first time ever going to Peach Jam. This is back when he was like still in high school. He was like number one player in the country. He was, uh, if you know the Peach Jam, the way it's set up the stairs, he was walking down the stairs and had just a, a ass of a crowd following him. And I just I tried to scream out his name. I was like, yo, 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 yo. But he never looked towards me. But uh, this was like the first time we actually had to have a conversation. For sure. And then for Chico, um, you're shooting a high percentage from, I guess, three-point range now. I know that you're – that's kind of part of your game, but I guess, you know, in what, what ways do you kind of find, you know, the ability to kind of stay consistent with that shot and try to space out the floor? Right. I just feel like it's the work we put in off the court, at the practice, um, just getting up a lot of shots. And then especially my teammates finding me when I'm open and then seeing them go in after, in the workouts and I see them go in in the game. And then I know you were around last year when the team uh, went through the SEC schedule. You guys start that schedule you know, next week. Just um, to you, what kind of needs to, you know, change or improve from a mindset standpoint, or you know, even just on the court? Like, you know, what what kind of needs to be done to to make that transition? Right. We we definitely know that next week when SEC play starts, going to ramp up, and uh, we're going to take tomorrow off and then come back Saturday and practice really hard and get ready for Vanderbilt. For sure. And then one more for the both of you. Uh, Zachary Davis had that tip dunk uh, in the first half. It kind of, I guess, got the, the crowd kind of going. Uh, what do you, what were your reactions when that happened? And just kind of what do you remember about that play? Uh, for me, honestly, I was happy that he got that put back. Uh, a lot of games, you know, he sat a lot and not been getting the minutes that he expected to get. So I feel like it was a great confidence boost to see he blammed that on his head. I was like, dang. Like, but no, that was a crazy play, though. And I, I was happy to see him get it. Very happy to see him. Uh, we see his athletic ability in practice, and it was, it was good to see him get one in the game.